Hello and welcome back to the top of the world. And we really are at the top of the world. This is just mad. Well, it's not as normal, but I mean, it's just I don't usually have a chance to film it. So all this had gone. All the reefs, they were all clear. So that's, uh, it's about 14 inches, just over a foot of snow has fallen in the last 48 hours. I'm unable to do some of the projects I'm in the middle of today for various reasons. So I'm going to start another one. Let me show you what I'm doing. Well, we're back to that kind of sketch thing. Wall lights. Gothic style wall lights. Um, that was my original make a cone. Ball on the bottom, stop the hand coming off. So I want them to kind of be like um, uh, the old medieval wall torches. Um, but of a later style. So a lot of our castles and cathedrals are all done in the Gothic style. And um, it, that came much after the, the medieval torches. But they kind of added the uh, Gothic architects put their touch on the, on the wall torches. And they kind of got elaborate. Anyway, so I kind of started there. And then I was messing around over here with uh, a hanging lamp and then we're back to the torch thing. I found this sheet of aluminium, I've been digging around, I've got a big sheet of aluminium there and then I found these ends of curtain poles now this is where I'm always torn right these were for you'd hammer these these are all forged made they're old but they're not that old these were for hammering into logs on the river when they were building the log rafts these would get hammered in and it would hold the logs together and i've got a few of these and when i look at this stuff i just see useful stuff however i'm starting to see something else useful that i might like there seems a shame it isn't on the basis I pulled them out of the skip, you know, the metal bin. So they'd already gone for scrap. But I can still see something useful there. Am I likely to be floating logs down the river? Well, instantly I could say no. There are a lot of islands on the river, a lot of islands on the river, and they're all overforested or, or overgrown. What's the chances of me logging an island on the river? Great. And therefore, what's the chances of me needing those? Possible. You can't rule nothing out, can you? I've kind of got to turn this idea, this being a wall light. Now, the electric cable will go through this bracket here. This is the end, it will just sit onto the wall. Or maybe a bit more of an elaborate bracket. Maybe it, it needs... Something. I don't know. Two hours later... I'm going to try not to, the best I can, go down the steampunk route. That's what I'm going to try not to do. However, these are forged hinges, old ones. These are forged. They're forged. And then what I've got is got two steel water pipes. I've got some brass or copper brass. I've got some bushings. Right, it's going to be a mistake using those, but I'm going to use them. I've got some copper bits. I've got some of those. Mm. Now this is off the wall, but anyway, these are all out of my metal bin. 
one day I'm going to get a forge and melt them all down. But these are copper heating elements. And then I've got two different sizes of copper pipes. And I've got an idea coming. I have an idea coming. So if this is this is the bottom. I kind of want to do something. Something like this. But I want to do this part in brass and copper. And then as we go up, the torch is now going to be in a straight pole. I want to have a hand grip like this. In copper. And then we're going to get to the top. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do in there yet. Something like this. And so I've got this, which is a bit of chimney flue. I can cut this in half and that will create that bit. And then these somehow are going to go on there. And then I've got various lamp holders and stuff in my electrical department there. Electrical department, electrical department, lighting department. Yeah. So these bushings, see now I have to, I hate using, anyway, oh. Down in the metal department, this is my metal department, which is, as you can see, overflowing. I've got a lot of these, a lot of them bushings. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're for the old girl outside, but it's hard to say. And we've got things like that. A lot of these wheels and stuff all came from the gymnasium, the very room in which we're working on. This is all part of the old gym equipment. Um, like these. These went on a big pole. These were for the climbing ropes. Um, and the balance beams. That's where it was. And the radiators from upstairs are waiting painting. Right, I think I kind of got the bases of something to get going with. All right, we got the basics. So I've cleaned up the steel poles and I've welded the pulleys on the end of them, steampunk style, upside down. And I've been messing around with a copper pipe and the brass bushings. And then I've cut this in half, so we've got two of those, like that. And I want to cut some of these down. And I want to weld these timber spikes on there. So I think the next thing is to cut through there like that. And I'll clean these up the best I need them. I didn't need anything special. It's one of the things we can't do is when we've done it, is paint it all nice glossy black because that's not how they would have been. We need some old horrible matte black. And I've got some stove paint somewhere and I think that will give it a kind of more hammered rough texture. These will kind of go like that on these brackets. Yeah, something like that. And then these, I'm hoping we can fit those into there and run a chain from the top. Yeah, something like that.
Well, wouldn't that be easier with a MIG welder and a better clamp or two? And what's worse, to stop myself from poisoning myself, I've had to open the door. Open the door. Oh. Is it cold? Yeah. Anyway. I've spent four hours this morning ploughing and clearing up, and I still haven't finished. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm bored with that. I want to do this. But wouldn't that be easier if I had a MIG welder? Anyway, we're nearly there. You couldn't even see yourself in there. Right, am I happy with those? No, not really. Could have been done easier and neater. Anyway, well, that's where we're up to. We've done those. We've done the tops. These. These are going to weld on there like that. You see how it's coming? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I'm trying to do something there I've never done before. I'm not sure my... Mm, there's things that I'm just not happy about. I kind of painted the chains and the ends and I'm kind of messing with the light fittings. Oh, and I've experimented with that. which is one of these. I always thought it was copper. No, it ain't. You've got to kind of open it right up to make it work. I don't quite, it's not quite what was in my mind's eye. I'm close, but it ain't quite, yeah, I don't know. See what they look like when they're planted. Now comes the moment for wiring. Wiring, the more complicated you make something that you've got to run wire through, the more complicated it's going to be to run the wire. Anyway, so where have I got to? Well, I've been working upstairs on um, running the first fix electrics, which I'll show you, and um, doing some more uh, of the 
ball covering, but I, I have to cut it all in. So it's quite a long process. And oh, I don't know if we can we can see what's going on out here. There. And I've had to do some serious snow shoveling. Tons and tons and tons. I will take you out there and show you the huge mountains. We're into mountains now that I've created. So these are our lamp holders. I've taken one of them apart to make sure we can get them in the end. Um, and I've given them another coat of this horrible 600 degree. Is it? We can knock that over now because the paint's dry, which is just as well. Uh, right. Spiss paint black. Right. That's what that is. Um, it's good to 600 degrees. It's a nasty, rough stuff. So you can see the nice shiny undercoat I put on to start with and then how rough the finish is. Um, not coating it completely and leaving some of this as the burnt old look. Um, and then the, the, the gold spray that I had to spray the chain and the end bit there, that was horrible. So we've used um, brush and leaf a brass gold specialist paint, right? Proper stuff, and uh, it's given it a bit of a different, a bit of a different look. I'm more happy with it now. I nearly painted that black, uh, and I've got to clean these up still. We've got two of the brass bushings there, two sizes of copper pipe there, um, all soldered and uh, fixed on the end. This is our heating element hand grip, and now. We have to fiddle the wire, and I've got to get it in this hole here, and then through that pipe, and then up there, and then out through the middle. Now the reason I had to make these before I finished the wall is because I wanted to know where the wire come out. And we'll see how that relates to what I've done upstairs. So. How complicated is it? Well, I can't get the wire to go past there. So what I'm going to do is pass the wire through there with a loop on the end and then coat hangers. Right, if a man, this is for the younger ones because the old men know, if a man ain't gone fishing for something with a coat hanger, he's not been alive. Okay, so then we're going to fiddle this coat hanger with this little hook here down this main shaft to there to see if we can pick up the loop for the wire. That's the plan. Coat hangers. I own tens of thousands of them. It's a long story as to why I do, but I do. So these standard wire coat hangers, these are like a piece of my inventory tool. Yeah, forever. Do you know, I think my earliest memory of fishing for something with a coat hanger was for a set of keys down a drain. And um, my experiences with fishing for coat with coat hangers has never finished. Anyway, this is what we're going to do. That's it. Oh, oh, well, that's not good, is it? Well, that wasn't made in the USA. So we're going to try. We put an eye like that on the end of the wire. Poke the end of the wire in. What we should do? We'll pass the old coat hanger down first. Do we even know that's gone past? No, not really. Oh, no. We had it. And then it was off. Can you even believe that? You can see I'm right on there. There you go. Right. Done. 
Okay, now what we can do is we can use this cable to pull the earth wire through. So I'm going to earth these to the housing. Um, so this is the this is the twin for the bulb, but I'm going to run an additional earth in there. It not came out, not come out. It's always that end that causes the issue. All right, let's try that again. We've gone around the bend a lot, a lot quicker. It's better if you push and guide as opposed to try and pull. So we've got those going in that hole and these coming out. And now we can uh, wire the socket in. And um, we'll use our hook and coat hanger method on the second one after we wired the first one in. Oh, there he is. That's my new helper. Bit weird. He thinks it's a bit weird. Have I showed you my new rocking chair? No. Alright. I've used a different earth cable on that one. This one, because the other one was too stiff. I had a lot of trouble getting that socket down into there. But anyway, that's that one wired. And that one wired. And now what I've done is I've used Ultrasol, right, which is a, a metal polishing paste. And um, I've done a bit of work on those. I think we're ready to carry on upstairs now. We're having this game with the light again, aren't we? It's just not, it's just there's so much light coming from the window, it's not good. So, I didn't press record again on the first fix electrics, but essentially what I did was I put these on the wall and worked out where my cable is and there's a slot in these that I cut individually and then built up but that the first fix electrics then goes up the wall and across the top so I've got to make some square old caps for the fixings um, to cover them up and uh, I've managed to find these are not the bulbs that are going to go in them but I've managed to find some old bulbs and old bulbs are easy to find there because you just got to go into one of the old rooms. Uh, yeah, it's not easy to see because of the light, but I've got to touch them up. But that's them. It's going to be interesting to see how they light up the top. I don't even know if I can get a decent light picture from this side. Probably not. There's a lot of light streaming in. No, it's rubbish. There's a lot of light streaming in. Anyway, they're on the wall. So um, the radiators are next. And then uh, I've got to do a second coat of trim. That second coat on the window boards. Flies, flies we get here. And I've got to paint the middle and the windows. But as far as what I'm making, the curtains are in order. Um, and they're going to be a, a dark maroon velvet. But I'm not, I'm not unhappy with those. Yeah, they kind of fit with what's going on there. So I'm going to do a second coat on that, but yeah, they've taken a while. I, I've lost the, the days and hours gone into this wall now. I've just gone. You can. I could build a cabin 
almost as fast as it's taken me to do that wall. And the trimming in was, again, with the light, you know, particularly difficult. Uh, our temperatures have raised. We can see uh, gravel. Look at that. So I'm hoping this time that is kind of the end. I don't even know. Can we even? Yeah, well, yeah we can. You can see I've started to clear all the snow out of the yard and pile it down the side of the road. Look at the way that's curling over the reef. So that reef there and all this snow there you can normally just ski straight off the top of there. There's not, that's how little snow we've had this year, but that's the factory. That's what's left of the old Christmas tree. And then you can see this way. Let's open this window up. You can see where I've been piling snow, clean the drain across there. Yeah, it's coming nicely. It's a nice day. It's a very nice day. So that's it for this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like the comment. Subscribe if you're not, really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.